Okay, we're going to talk today about our black diesel processor. Um, what you're looking at right here is the second tank in the series. We actually have a series of tanks be behind the wall here for, for settling. Uh, we pump oil into one tank and draw from the other, and when that tank is low, we switch over and, uh, and to the other tank. So we always have one tank of oil settling. Um, it comes in through the roof right here, through this, through this pipe right over our head. It goes into this tank here. This is our dirty oil tank. We uh, pump the oil out of this tank using air pressure. You can see the little Harbor Freight um, air compressor on the side, and it's connected right in here. We put a, a meter on it. You see, we run it at 20 PSI. Okay, from there, the oil will go through this, through this uh, tube right here, over to our centrifuge unit. This is an essential unit because um, it takes out a lot of things you just can't filter out with a filter. Um, you can filter down to one micron and then put it through this centrifuge and you'll get a ton more goop out. And you'll see that later on, uh, either in this video or in a short video later. Um, the centrifuge here we use, it's, it's controlled by this controller right here. It's got a start time, a uh, cycle time between dumps, and it's got the temperature setting. It also has a special... Uh, connection for flow control. If there's no flow, it turns the, the heater unit down. Um, okay, so when it comes out of the centrifuge, it flows right down into this tank here. And this was our original tank, and it has a bank of filters on it. Uh, we started with these filters, but we found that it just didn't clean out the oil enough, and we're getting a buildup in our fuel system after a couple of hundred hours. So that's why we ended up with the centrifuge. So as it comes out, it goes to this tank here, um, then we have to blend it. We blend our, our cleaned oil with gasoline, regular unleaded gasoline, and we use a little homemade mixer here, which you'll see right here. And this little mixer will fit down in, into the bung hole, and you put it in a drill, and it spins, and it, and it flies out like that. It makes a pretty effective mixer. Now we mix um, five minutes for uh, every 20 gallons or so. So we put it in, and uh, that gives about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes of mix time total for a 100-gallon tank with a drill. So it's pretty vigorous because it, it, the mixing is really important. Um, like I said, it's 20% unleaded gasoline. We pump it out to the vehicles the same way. We just put air in here and blow it out. Uh, this has got three filters in line. These have been here forever. This is our very first filter hookup, and, and uh, it's got a 25, a 10, and a 2. I think probably a 10 and a 2 are fine. I wouldn't worry about that. Um, the only reason these filters are on here, it's because the, this tank has rust and sediment in it because it is a used tank and welds better. And um, I guess when it goes out of here, it goes straight on, on out to whatever you're going to put it into. And that pretty much sums it up. 80% oil, 20% gasoline. All right, now that tank over there, the old gray tank, we ran that 100 gallons in there, and that oil has been settled, setting. It's probably been s settling for for several months because we have two big tanks here. We put the oil in, and um, I want you to see what this is taken out of settled oil right there. Can you see that buildup in there? And I'll scrape it in a minute. <clears throat> you can see a little bit of antifreeze and stuff oozing out of it. I'm going to reach down and grab a piece of cardboard and scrape some of this stuff so you can see just how nasty that is. That's a, it's a nasty soupy sludge and that's what we get out after it's been settled. And this is stuff, <clears throat> I remember we got, a, we got a couple of gallons of liquid sludge out too that goes down into the, the tank down there but this is, this is stuff that um, it's like oil additives. It could be dirt. It could be carbon in there from, from the fuel. It could be things like, um, <clears throat> you know, that they put zinc and they put calcium and all that stuff in there. And this is, this is the harder stuff in there. That's what this is. And you see we've got plenty of this, this goop here um, out in the centrifuge.